What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. I want to talk about the Galaxy Z Fold 2 and the battery life I've been getting since this phone has been released. It was released in mid-September and it's now in January at this point. So it's been about three and a half to four months since I've had this phone. I wanted to talk about my battery life performance that I've been getting with this phone. But before I tell you my actual performance numbers, I wanted to tell you how I really use this phone day in and day out. First of all, I watch a lot of video, mostly YouTube, and I'm watch, walking, walking and watching videos. I'm uh, walking around my house or like sitting down watching videos on this. I'm doing video chatting through Google Duo or Instagram video or you know one of those. I do a lot of uh, social media stuff with Instagram and Twitter and Snapchat and Facebook. I do shopping with Amazon or I look through the Slick Deals app. Uh, I do a lot of websites, you know, I'll go into different websites and searches and things like that. I listen to a lot of audio, have them be podcast or just music, sometimes the occasional audio book through Audible. I've got Bluetooth devices connected to this, such as like I'm driving in the car, I'll have this connected to Bluetooth or I'll have earphones on or headphones on connected to Bluetooth. And that's generally my day-to-day -day usage on this. So I put it through its paces. I don't do really any gaming with it. Once in a while, I'll play a stupid little game, but it's usually if I'm in a car for a long ride and I'm not driving or on an airplane or something like that, which isn't that often. So I don't do a lot of gaming really at all, but all those other things I do on a day-to-day -day basis and I use it a very lot when I do those things. So with Samsung phones, generally, I don't personally get very great battery life. I mean, I've gotten up to maybe, you know, six or seven hours, you know, in the beginning of having the phone and then it kind of goes down from there. And then it usually settles in the five to six hour mark in terms of battery life. But now I'm at a point where, you know, I have this phone and this phone has this 120 Hertz display, which I do. I run it at the adaptive 120 Hertz smoothness and it runs at maximum resolution and uh, you get the 6.23 inch screen on the front which runs at 60 Hertz and then the inside display is 7.6 inches which runs at 120 Hertz like I said just a second ago. I've got the speakers maxed out when I'm listening to audio through this generally so it's at least over half halfway and that uses battery life. So look, all these things, I take photos and videos and all those things obviously use up battery life some more than others. I use navigation as well sometimes if I'm driving. That leads us to the point with what kind of battery life am I getting with this at this point, with this phone being you know three to four um, months old? And before I answer that question, one other thing I want to add, because just because I thought about it, is what, uh, what, what power mode, and I use it on Optimize, which, let me read it, it says get the recommended balance of power and battery life, so performance and battery life. So that's what I use it on. And I generally don't use it on high performance just because I don't feel like I need to. It's, it, it runs like a beast. It's super fast, smooth, beautiful, bright, bright enough, everything. So what do I get for battery life? That's the long-winded question. So I looked through what I get and generally I have to charge this twice a day no matter what. And I usually have to charge it around 2 p.m. or so because it's really getting into that you know, 15% or less battery left. I'm on it from about 6.30, 6 in the morning, comes off the charger, and then around 2 p.m. when I'm putting my son down for a nap, I generally need to charge this phone, and then um, I'll charge it up, use it, and then by the time I go to bed, which is, you know, between 10 and midnight, it needs to get charged again. At that point, it's, about, it's usually around 15% well, battery life, because again, I'm using it so much. But my screen on time, which is what I think of battery life, um, I can get, I average usually about five hours of screen on time with the Galaxy Z Fold 2. Now to me, that's fine, it's normal, of course, but I want more battery life, yes. Do I expect more battery life? Not really, especially with the, you know, how powerful and you know bright the display is and the 120 hertz display and 5g which is a hog on there like i don't expect it so it's like five hours it's kind of what i expect so i'm not blown away by it but i'm also not like ah, eh, this is awful some people might look at that and be awful some people might get more than that i get a lot of notifications uh with my security cameras and that kind of stuff so that obviously eats away a little bit at the battery as well but beyond that five hours i feel like screen on time is is generally really really good 
Funny thing is, is when I was using on this airplane recently, I turned off, you know, you have to turn to airplane mode, which turns off, um, it by default turns off Bluetooth and Wi-Fi and 5G or your mobile data. Um, and when you turn off 5G, for instance, and just have no mobile data and really no Wi-Fi, I was getting amazing battery life. So like if I didn't have to use those things, I would get, I would definitely probably be fine with using this phone all day long and not having to charge, but obviously I need data, so it's gonna eat away at the battery. But yeah, five hours of battery life with the Galaxy Z Fold 2. Let me know in the comments down below what kind of battery life you're personally getting, because that's what I'm getting. And that's generally what I've gotten on almost every other Galaxy phone and most phones for that matter. So let me know what you guys. Thanks for watching. See you guys down the road. Peace.